just went past the airport, walking just from our home, from the uh, village of Faros. We're basically walking to the north of the island. Yeah, it takes like a 30 to 40 minute walk to get to the north of, of the island, which is funny because we're in the south and the north only takes like a half an hour. There's a, a hot spring somewhere up in the north. Yeah, it's, uh, you have to look up like uh, thermal springs of uh, Ikaria and uh, there's a beach over there called uh, Agia Kiriaki. That's the village, uh, Agia mm -hmm. Kiriaki. Yeah, so Agia means saint. Most of the uh, thermal hot springs, the bathing springs are in Thermo, called the village of Thermo in the south. Mm -hmm. And this was the only one up in the north. So the locals are quite friendly, mm -hmm. even from their car saying hello to you. The main benefit of visiting the hot springs in Agia Kiriaki compared to Therma is that it will likely be less crowded. It is a hidden gem that mostly locals know about. However, the downside is that the bathing enclosure is very small and if there is somebody else there, you will have to wait to get your turn. This magazine and one chapter, a pretty big chapter, was on longevity in Ikaria. And so they had uh, different people, so they went to the island and they took interviews of different people mm -hmm. who were over 90. And so one of the people was uh, the person who walks from Therma to Faros for two hours every day. And another person was a, a grandma. Um, I forgot how old she was. Maybe 98. Probably also Something old. like that. And, <laughs> and yeah, her secret to longevity was um, basically walk twice as much, eat twice as less, laugh three times as much, and love unboundly. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the secret for you. So we're heading somewhere down there. So there's a path. Um, so I'm not 100% sure, but uh, probably somewhere down there. Yeah. There's a hot spring. That looks nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. We can just walk here. And it reminds me a little bit of Colorado here, mm -hmm. uh, mixed with uh, Iceland. <laughs> mm -hmm. Different, but very similar for some reason. The hot springs in Ikaria are radioactive, and they are some of the most radioactive in the world, which is the main reason that they are so healing. Perhaps this is one of the main reasons for the famed longevity of the people of this island. The magnificent scenery itself is probably a reason for longevity too. There's a small path next to houses, hopefully it will lead us to the beach. Um, I think that's, that's the road, yeah. It is a civilized beach and there's even a small booth to change your clothes at. But it is very rocky here, and we recommend wearing your shoes until you get to the hot springs. The rocks are pretty painful for walking on with bare feet. The seawater here is right by the hot springs, and it is nice to swim in. Here is the hot springs right by the cliff. The radon is mainly absorbed through inhalation, and most of it is expelled from the body after one hour. You may have detox symptoms, also called a spa reaction, after bathing here. These symptoms can include insomnia and fatigue, which we have experienced. This is why it is best to go to the medical spas in Therma if you have health issues. There is medical staff guiding you. The spas there also offer much more exposure to Raidon. We visited this spring in early May, and it likely gets much more crowded later in the summer, so it was great to visit in the off-season. It's 
so this was the path that we um, used to go down um, to the thermal bath and uh, we spent half an hour we uh, we spent half an hour people say that 20 to 30 minutes is plenty um, there was a one local uh, guy uh, we tried to ask him he spoke barely any English he was uh, I asked him about the <laughs> about the springs because we knew that there is a small area where you can see it and that we showed and uh, he, but he thought we were asking about therma yeah he thought about therma and he started showing us in the direction of that <laughs> small town where we're going uh -huh. uh, after tomorrow and yeah. Uh, yeah so it was uh, pretty pleasant what do you think very warm uh, not hot mm -hmm. not cold but not mm -hmm. Not cold warm, but very warm warm. Mm -hmm. so, it was very pleasant. There were some small fish and uh, crabs, a few crabs uh -huh. <laughs> roaming around. And it was uh, as, as warm as uh, when we, the 30 minutes were up, we wanted to go take a cold swim. Mm -hmm. So that's how warm it was. Yeah, so the, the thermal spring uh, flows into the into the sea and uh, it blends and it's um, it's probably like 20 degrees Celsius or mm -hmm. so and then it obviously further from the beach it gets colder Please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for more videos on Ikaria as we visited the island for almost two months and have learned a lot about the culture of longevity here that we will share more of. Oh, look, there are goats. Mm -hmm. There are goats like everywhere. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. There are many so of many them. Ones. They're like climbers. I guess it's because it's sunset. Oh, wow. So it's around 7 o'clock right now, p.m. Yeah, there's like a herd of them. Plenty of them right now. Mm -hmm, they're coming back, I don't know where. <laughs> Maybe drinking wine. The so they're, do you think they are wild or they're someone's? I don't know. I read somewhere that there are wild goats, so mm -hmm. maybe they're wild. Huh. The entire island is covered in wild herbs. Honeybees were busy collecting nectar. Ikarian honey is known for its healthy properties that promote longevity. We tried it there and it had a very intense but delicious flavor. If you'd like to try Ikarian raw honey, take a look at Clio's online store by clicking the link in the description. Clio brings authentic Ikarian honey and other Greek wild herbal teas to you as customers. Also, check out our video on the hot springs of Therma in the link above. Thank you for watching.